What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, checking out some reveals from the brand new Infinite Ignition archetype. These guys are coming out in Infinity Chasers. This was the archetype that was supposed to be exceed based and link based, but also based on machines. And actually, so far, it's interesting because all of their exceed monsters seem pretty legitimate. Plus, they're incredibly generic. So you can run these things outside of this archetype. So maybe we'll see them have play in other decks, etc., etc. But let's go ahead and break them down i believe we have one link monster two xc's and two main deck monsters but i think that there's also going to be a level three in this archetype obviously all the cards have not been revealed yet let's go ahead and start off with infinite ignition rock anchor this is your level four monster it's an earth machine attributes and uh, it has 1800 attack 500 defense reminds me very much of something like machine gear frame i guess a little bit both of the effects are hard once per turns it says if this card is normal or special summon you can special summon one earth machine monster from your hand and defense position except another copy of rock anchor effect number two you can target one machine monster you control except this card until so the end of the turn the levels of this card and that monster become equal to the total combined levels of those two cards so this is just simple level modification there are so many decks in Yu-Gi-Oh. a lot of them are xc based that have this rank 10 trains have effects like this uh galaxy has effect uh, has effects like this basically and you could potentially use gadgets in this deck because the gadgets and the machina cards those are also like earth machines so they'd work it basically means if you summon a gadget from your hand off of this effect both both of your cards both of your monsters on field are going to become level eight at that point because you add four plus four and then both dudes become that seems pretty good anytime you can get a monster out of your hand and then go for a bigger xc play i'll definitely take that the next main deck monster is infinite ignition cancer crane which <laughs> if konami's putting cancer right in in the monster's name they're telling you this archetype is going to be cancer <laughs> i promise you it's a level five earth machine monster 2100 attack and 500 defense reminds me a little bit of cyber dragon just because of that level 5 2100 attack both of the effects are hard once per turns first effect you can tribute one earth machine monster you control special summon this card from your hand and defense position all right at least it can get itself out of your hand without having to rely on the tribute summon or without having to rely on the rock anchor there's a uh, way of getting this guy on the field instantly effect number two you can banish one machine monster from your graveyard add one super contact expansion from your deck to your hand so unfortunately I can't really contextualize the second effect in any way simply because um, as far as I know super contact expansion has not been revealed yet so I don't know if that has to do with the XC cards if it's a spell maybe or if it's like a trap another monster we have no idea when it comes to that card so I just really can't talk about that but I mean being able to get a plus one I guess just in theory on its face value seems pretty good but I think that we'll have to revisit um, we'll have to revisit the crane when that card is revealed let's go ahead and jump into the xc's so your first xc is actually going to be a rank seven this is infinite ignition colossal mountain just like the rest of the archetype so far it is earth and machine 2100 attack and 3100 defense so this is a pretty big boy and you can summon this card in either position it just requires two level seven monsters to summon so it's completely generic you can throw this in mermill if you want the first and third effects are both hard once returns first effect says you can detach one material from this card it gains 1000 attack second effect says when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle you can attach that monster to this card as material third effect says if this card is in your graveyard you contribute one machine link monster special summon this card in defense position so i think the first effect is actually really good because it instantly converts this into a 3100 attacker which is pretty damn strong if you ask me and then if your opponent doesn't kill it then it's like 4100 during the following turn and that's just kind of absurd second effect is built into the other um ixie monster as well same thing with the third effect i do like the self revival and i wonder if konami would even uh you know think about maybe making a machine link one for this archetype because that would be nuts i mean if this archetype gets a link one that you can just summon any of your monsters into convert that into a link and then monster reborn these big guys for free also even if you do summon this card from the graveyard in defense position it has 3100 defense so your opponent is going to struggle to get this card off the field whether it's in attack mode or defense position so i think it's a pretty good card oh, and, and i guess the last 
next thing is this is an exceed that's not useless without materials because most exceed monsters if you bring them back from the graveyard it's like eh, it doesn't have any materials but these guys can get materials on them by running cards over so that's legitimate the next one is actually the rank nine this is Infinite Ignition Earthshaker. It's um, an Earth Machine monster, 3,100 attack and 2,100 defense. So basically, it's the last monster stat line just reversed. It requires two level nine monsters, which means if you can make True King of All Calamities outside of ranking up, you can probably make this card as well. First and third are both hard ones for turns. First effect says you can detach any number of materials from this card, then target an equal number of cards on the field, destroy those targets. This is, <laughs> before I even go into the other effects this is amazing because basically you're talking about a rank nine that can pop two cards instantly maybe even more if you run over something in battle and then use the effect in main phase uh two you could be talking about blowing up three cards on your opponent's side of the field that's legitimate the uh, second effect and the third effect are the same from the other monster. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can attach that monster as a material. And then if this card is in the graveyard, you can tribute a machine link monster, a special summon this card in defense position. So really not that much going on with those two effects. They're built into all the XCs in this archetype. I mean, these two XC monsters seem pretty legitimate in my opinion. I just wonder, you know, it'd be so nice if this archetype got a link one monster just to bring these XCs back from the graveyard. It would seem, you know, kind and nice and then lastly we have a big link monster to talk about this is actually a link three for the archetype and i'm not gonna lie or sugarcoat it it's not the easiest thing in the world to summon <laughs> seems pretty difficult in fact this thing might not even be summoned in its own archetype this is the infinite ignition fortress megaton gale and uh man megaton definitely sums it up it's got 4,000 attack it is a link three with 4,000 attack which is insane it points to the bottom left the bottom right and then also to the right and uh it requires three XC monsters to summon my my god I, I thought about that and i was like how am i supposed to summon you people have to understand that we're in master rule four man getting multiple XC monsters on the field ain't exactly the easiest thing because that requires you to also link summon just to kind of open up zones i mean this would have been amazing in master rule three if this could have been done with something like zodiac but uh we'll talk about zodiac a little bit later now it says the second effect it's a hard one to return on this card. The first effect is this card is unaffected by the effects of monsters except XC monsters and cannot be destroyed by battle except by XC monsters. So that's pretty damn amazing. It means if your opponent is playing a deck that can't XC summon, if they're playing Sky Striker or Alter Geist or Thunder Dragon, good luck killing this thing with a monster effect because it's not going to happen. You also are not going to be able to, to destroy it in battle. Now, with that said, there are decks like Salaman Greats and Phantom Knights that will just shit on this card. I mean, they both have rank threes. They have built-in removal with uh, the Salaman Great uh, Mirage Stallion, also like the Phantom Knights of Break Sword. Both of those can own this card in just an instant. Now, the second effect says target one monster, uh, one XC monster in your graveyard and one card your opponent controls. Special summon the first target. Then place the second target under that monster as a material, but half battled her, excuse me, half any damage inflicted to your opponent for the remainder of this turn. I kind of feel like this should have been a quick effect. I mean, it's a great effect. Don't get me wrong. It's a plus one. Actually, no, it's a plus two. <laughs> and maybe it shouldn't have been a quick effect. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's a plus two because let's just say your opponent has a Stratos on board. You take their Stratos and you were born one of your XC monsters. So you're getting two, basically. You're getting two cards. You're getting rid of one of your opponents and you're getting one of your monsters so that's kind of good the second effect of this card is quite incredible it's just you know I, I think about how i'm going to get this card on the board it would have been a lot easier in a deck like zodiac had soul charge not been banned because like zodiac would have been able to make this card turn one with soul charge just exceed some of the bunch get rid of your xc monster soul charge all your monsters back and then boom you could just you could spit this guy out instantly but i just kind of um you know i look at this archetype and we have a rank seven and a rank nine and both of them require a couple of monsters so i'm like how exactly am i gonna summon this in the first two turns in its own archetype i really don't think that you're going to do it i think zodiac is probably your best bet but that's just obviously my first thoughts and impressions of the card haven't thought about it all that much because these cards were just revealed last night but so far you guys let me 
me know what you're thinking about the infinite ignition archetype i say that there's going to be a level three because of the fact that they have a rank seven monster and you know when you have the level four plus the level three there's your seven stars so i kind of feel like there will be other supports in this archetype and we'll have to see exactly where it goes but whatever you guys think leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos this video has been brought to you by audible get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com backslash mega capital g over 180,000 titles to choose from on your apple or android device cancel any time with no obligations i'm listening to the amazing wrestling for my life by Shawn michaels link in the description